Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome everyone. Um, my name is Tracy Bish. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Central Victoria, Australia. It's Thursday Live. I've had a couple of weeks break um, over the Christmas season and the New Year season. It's been amazing. It's been nice to have a little bit of a break. Um, hopefully you've seen some of the videos that I've been able to put out during my break, which was always nice to be able to still give you some ideas and inspiration while I'm away. But really take a good break and um, although a few years I have taken a break but still done a lot and I will say this time I really didn't which I feel so much better with um, I really didn't get on social media too much I've been sort of missing but that's been really nice to have that break away so if, if you're doing social media you know what it's like it's it can be really time consuming so it's been nice to you know spend a bit of time with family just relax i've done a little bit of crafting just to have fun and um that's been it's been really good so hopefully you've all had a wonderful christmas new year you're ready for 2024 or 2024 and um you're looking for some crafting fun so hopefully i can inspire you with that one hi marion Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you, you're glad that I'm back. <laughs> it's really, it is really good to be back. Although I will say probably 15 minutes ago, I started to get the nerves, which I haven't had for a little while. <laughs> um, having those two weeks break has made me sort of a little bit nervous about coming back and being live. <sighs> but I took a couple of big breaths and yeah, no, I'm feeling really good. So yeah, it's always nice. Hi, Sue. Welcome to the new year for you as well. So let me know, did you do anything exciting over the holidays or are you still on holidays? For a lot of people, they're really um, still enjoying some holiday time. Um, although I did take that couple of weeks off, I really only had the public holidays from work. Um, we were open the, all the other days. So I have worked, but I, I still feel refreshed, which is really good. And um, although we've had flooding in our area, you may have seen some photos yesterday. I did post some. Um, like I said, I have been really missing from social media a lot. And yeah, I had got these video, or I got footage of um, the floods. And I wanted to share that with you just to let you know sort of what's going on around our area. But um, it's starting to recede, which is really good news. And we're, we're sort of, getting back on top on top of things. We're not doing all the mail run just yet, but um, there's still a lot of flooding, a lot of road closures around the area, but it is starting to recede and that's the main thing. So that's been really good. <laughs> yeah, so I've got lots to share with you um, tonight. Um, I've changed the, my program around for the Thursdays each um, during the month. And I'm really excited to share that with you. So our first Thursday, which was last week, is the customer appreciation projects, whether it's a card or, you know, a gift box or something like that, which I did share with you. Let me show you that card. It was a, um, a video that went live last Thursday. So this one here, a fun flap card. So cute. This is using a free celebration product called Flight and Airy absolutely beautiful it's dsp 12 by 12 it's got lots of great patterns and birds and it's really really pretty lots of floral designs there as well so i've used this one uh, for the customer appreciation card you can check this video out too it is here on youtube if you've missed it um but anyone who purchases with me this month using the host code and i forgot to bring that out that's okay. The host code is in the description of this video, so you can check that out if you wouldn't like to place an order. But um, everyone who orders this month will receive this card. So I'm still sticking with that one being my first Thursday. The second Thursday, which is tonight, we are doing the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. So um, I've just swapped the tutorial bundle with the monthly bundle. So um, the third Thursday, we'll be doing our monthly bundle project. And then the last or the fourth 
Thursday is going to be the free class and then if there's a fifth um, Thursday we'll be doing just a fun project so um, that's my lineup for the every Thursday for the month and yeah I hope that you like it but it's, it's just gonna be a lot of fun now I am changing up my customer appreciation um, gifts for my customers as well each month so from this month this year um, anyone who places an order with me will receive the customer appreciation project so for this month for January is this card you'll also receive um, the simple sweet stampers tutorial bundle as an added bonus and if you spend $65 worth of product you'll receive those two as well as the monthly tutorial bundle so um, a little bit of fun there just free products just for shopping in my online store and remember this month we have some really great specials as well the new mini catalog is now available so you can purchase anything out of the new catalog and I will be showing you a suite from the catalog we are doing the be mine suite from the mini catalog um, and celebration is on January to February for every $90 here in Australia you can earn yourself some free product which is amazing hi Margo how are you so let me just quickly grab the catalog that's this one here I love this catalog there's so many great products in there I've got so many things on in my head that I want to create which is always fun oh Marion says she must make some more of those cards so were lovely yeah and celebration so this is the free catalog so everything that's inside the celebration catalog are free products that you can choose with qualifying orders so there are $90 order products that you can place in not hundred and um, place a $90 order and you can receive those ones as free depending on which one you choose and then there's also a couple of $180 orders as well um, $180 product that you can choose for your free celebration um, earnings which is amazing now if you're not already ordering through another demonstrator and you would like to grab these catalogs please let me know Honestly, if you are ordering through another demonstrator, please get the catalogs through them. Um, I've got the front door of the shop open for my husband to get home and I can hear something. So give me a second. I just want to make sure that it's him and not someone coming into our store. Hang on a sec. not a burglar it is my husband so that's good <laughs> um he was on his way home just before i shut the shop and he said just leave the the shop open it the door shut but it's unlocked and yeah that just worried me anyway um yeah so if you're after these catalogs um just reach out i'll happily send them to you but if you do already order through a demonstrator just grab them from them they will be happy to give you a free catalog all right um, so I've got a few cards that I want to share with you that um, from when I was away on holidays we have already showed you the customer appreciation card for January but the global monthly video hop did a um, hop together using celebration products so if you haven't had a chance to have a look at that here is the cards that I created super cute and Actually, I will show you the cat the catalogue with the papers. So I used this gorgeous DSP. And these are our in colours with Pool Party. In the catalogue, here it is. This paper is actually called, and there's lots and lots of different paper. Um, there's stamp sets, there's embossing folders. There's lots of different things. This is the softly stippled 12 by 12 on page 8. So this one here. It is not my favorite DSP, but I will say that there's quite a few patterns that you can easily create beautiful cards because, you know, this is gorgeous. And this is just a image out of one of the pieces of cardstock or the DSP that are fussy cut. So, and created that beautiful design with the roses. Um, so 
we are we're focusing on celebration so if you haven't had a look at all the videos there you can just pop in have a look at this one and in the description of that um, video you will see the list of everyone taking part in the global monthly video hop for the month now we get together every month with different themes so um, you know please go over and have a look at what everyone's created because they've come up with some really great designs as well hi Deborah how are you okay um, so for one of my challenges it was a color combo challenge and honestly I don't even think I put this on my social media I just I was on holiday mode and I just didn't want to <laughs> so isn't this gorgeous really really pretty it's using one of the new sets in the mini catalog this is the hexagon hmm. I haven't learnt all the names yet. We were able to buy it through on stage, so I have had it for a little while. Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle. It's really, really pretty. It's got some great sentiments in there and some added extra bonus stamps that you can flourish around your card. But it's a punch bundle, which is amazing. So that's really, really pretty. That's on page 12 of the mini catalog. Now I haven't even had a chance to do a walkthrough of the catalog. And if I get time this weekend, I will do that. So you can, if you haven't seen through the catalog, you'll be able to see that. Okay. Um, I did do a catalog launch party with some of my Stamping Up demonstrator friends. So you may have seen um, this video. It, I did put it on my YouTube channel after it went live. But if you are a customer of mine and you're part of the VIP group, um, I did put a link in there of the um, catalog launch party, which has lots and lots of videos showing some great products and some, um, some crafting of using those products. So if you haven't, if you are a customer of mine, you haven't jumped on my VIP group, please do that. And um, yeah, that way you can see all the wonderful catalog launch products. But this was the card that I created for the catalog launch. And it was also my Tracy Sunday challenge for this week. So this week's theme is spotlight technique. And look at this stamp set. It's called Dog Gone Friendly. It's a background stamp set. And look at Riley there. There is a German Shepherd in there. There's lots and lots of different breeds, but I saw the German Shepherd. I had to get this stamp set, but I also wanted to spotlight her as well. So I did color her in. It's, I don't know, it's really not coming up well on the camera. She's sort of a little bit more black with her tan and brown, but yeah, it's a cute one. So a very simple card to create um, just by spotlight, spotlighting an area on your card. And you can either leave everything blank in the background, like leave it black and white and color in the one area, or um, there's lots of different ways that you can do it. So um, spotlight technique, I would love if you wanted to join in the challenge. All you need to do is create your card. Then you head over to my business Facebook page. You'll see the challenge post there and you just pop it in the comments section of that post. And yeah, go and check what everyone else is creating as well. Oh, no worries, everyone. Perfect. All right. Let me go through the bundle tutorials for this month, and then we're going to get crafting. So um, I'm really excited to share my card with you. So this month's Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle is using the Be Mine Suite from the mini catalog. Um, I will go through the suite with you in just a second. And... Um, for this bundle, there are 12 amazing projects. So you can see them all there. So pretty. The tutorial bundle comes with full color photos, all the measurements and instructions for each card. Um, some, video, some of them come with videos as well. So um, as you can see, I have a video for mine and it'll be linked on the PDF. Now there's a couple of ways that you can get this uh, wonderful tutorial bundle. So the first one would be to place an online store an online order in my online store. Um, you receive this via email from me. 
Um, the other way you could get it is if you join my team, the Inky Stampers, which there is an amazing deal on this month and next month through the um, through the celebration offering. Um, by purchasing the starter kit, you can choose two options. The first option is to receive a big glass mat um, as your free gift. There's also uh, there's a couple Hello, of things. Tracy. Hello, Tracy's ladies. Hello. <laughs> Freaking hot. It is hot. Um, that is my husband, Adam. Okay. So it's on the, in the celebration catalogue. There's a huge glass mat. There is also a little plastic mat that has, you can pop your little stamping spots in. It does a few different things. And then there's a a chamois type, I should probably read it. It's a cleaning cloth, a silicon mat, and a glass mat. So you can choose that as your free gift with your um, with your starter kit, or you can get an extra $51, yeah, $51 of product as your free gift with your starter kit. Now, the starter kit is always a really great deal anyway. You pay $169, you get to choose $235 worth of product and it's free shipping for your first order. So lots and lots of free things. Now I highly recommend if you have $169 worth of product in the catalog, in the mini catalog or the annual catalog, the online exclusives, the clearance rack, purchase the starter kit because you're getting all those extra free things for free. You're not paying any postage and that you're not locked into a contract. So if you only wanted to place that one order, um, that's fine. You'll lose your demonstratorship after the, um, the initial period. So if it's three months and then you get an extra one month um, if you would like it. And you can keep ordering with that discount of 20% off after that. And then if you don't order after that, you'll just drop away. There's no penalty, there's no nothing like that. So, um, you know, it's a really great deal. You're getting free product for absolutely nothing. No locking contracts. Anyway, so, um, there's the starter kit deal. Or if you would like this kit, this uh, tutorial bundle, you can also purchase it over in my online store. And this works really well if you maybe um, already order from another demonstrator or you live overseas and you want this bundle anyway so you can purchase it through my online store and PayPal okay and the other bundle tutorial is my January bundle tutorial now this month it has 42 projects you will see my project next Thursday and I'm super excited to share it with you but 42 projects that have good um, color photos all the measurements, all the instructions in the supply lists. Some have videos, so um, it's a great deal as well. Now there's a couple of ways you can get this one as well. If you place a $65 order in my online store using the host code, you will receive this one for free as well as the other two free gifts. Um, you can join my team and great that get that great starter kit offer. And each month you will receive my tutorial bundles for free. Or, the same as previous, if you would like to purchase this and maybe you already order from another demonstrator or you live in another country, you can purchase the downloadable tutorial bundle off my blog. And yeah, that's an easy way to do it through PayPal. So there we have it. Lots of, lots of info, lots of new things and lots of inspiration. So I want to show you the Be Mine Suite. So I'm going to pop the camera down. We're going to go through a few of the products and then we're going to get crafting because I know you're here to see me craft, not to hear me talk. So give me a second, I'll pop it down. If you have any questions, please um, just write them in the comments. I will have a check in the comments in just a second. And I know that's super loud, so I do apologize. I'm going to turn my lights on, get a little bit of light on the situation and so I'll just take a second to set myself up I've got to get my chair out of the road I cannot craft by sitting down I don't know can you guys craft and sit down it's just something that I can't do 
So welcome everyone that's popped on. Oh, I've got 11 watching. Welcome everyone. Let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Deborah. A few saying hello to Adam. Hi, Judith. I'll let him know. He'll pop back through in a minute. Okay. So this suite, you can find it in the mini catalogue. And it's really great for um, Valentine's Day. There's lots of love themes. But you can use it for other things. And, um, you know, bees are a good time anytime. So page 8 to page 10, look at these samples. So pretty. Hi, Martha from Maine. Welcome. So you can see there's gorgeous DSP. This is Be My, um, yeah, Be Mine 12 by 12 um, DSP. We have the bundle, which is a punch bundle. The ribbon is Sweet Sorbet one quarter inch bordered ribbon. The embellishments are the adhesive backed hearts and flowers, and I have them, but I don't have many left of them. And you can also get pillow boxes with um, this whole suite. So if you like the whole suite, there is a, um, a suite number. So this one up here, you can purchase the whole suite just by using that number when you're purchasing. I really like this set. I think you will too once you've seen my card. So page 8 to page 10 of the mini catalogue. Let me show you my card and then we'll have a look at all the products that I have used. Look at this. Isn't this cute? So it opens up, I'll go this way so you can see it a little bit better, and it has a gift card holder in it. So this design, even if you don't do Valentine's Day, you could certainly do use this design for any occasion. And I just love this DSP, it's so pretty. Little yellow bees with little red hearts. All right. Let me show you the set. So we have the Be My Valentine bundle with the punch. I'm also using Inks Petal Pink, Daffodil Delight, Sweet Sorbet. So these are the colours in the Sweet collection. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. We have this gorgeous ribbon. This is the Sweet Sorbet bordered ribbon. And looks very similar to ones that we've had previously. There's a really great amount of texture on it, so that's really pretty. These are the embellishments that I have used a lot. So this one here, and let me get my kit out. So that's my kit. I'm going to bring in this DSP really quickly to show you because some great colours in it. The coordinating colours are Basic Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lime Twist, Petal Pink, Pool Party and Sweet Sorbet. So you've got lots and lots of colours. Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at comments. <laughs> Don't think there's any questions there. So this is the paper that we're using. But we have, you know, bright, happy colours. One side has bees, the other side has patterns. So we've got gingham, we've got flowers. We've got petal pink honeycomb. I have no idea who my husband's talking to out there. So I apologise if you can hear him. We've got flowers and stripes. And honey, look at this, so cute. And those little buzz designs. Now, one thing I do want to tell you about this suite is I have used this suite for Wendy Cranford's Creative Vault this month. I'm do I've done three fun folds and um, and some little hearts, which we're using tonight as well. So I think that's all of them. We're doing three fun folds and um, 
3D projects. Well, I am. Wendy's not doing that. I do the fun folds and um, 3D projects. And they're all Valentine's theme using this suite. So um, you can purchase the membership. So it's a monthly membership. There is a link in the description of this video. Um, anyone who joins my team with that starter kit, you guys get that for free as well. So as long as you're part of the team, you have um, access to that membership through Wendy Cranford's Creative Vault, which is an amazing, amazing vault. There are uh, coloring classes. There's my 3D class. There is uh, scrapbooking classes. There's fun, uh, um, Wendy's doing a fun fold mega class that will be free there with the membership. Um, she does crafting with her sister two times a month. So there's so much inspiration there, you'll love it. All right, so we're gonna start off. I have my card base in petal pink. I have a piece of petal pink cardstock that we're going to create our little gift card holder with. I have a DSP all cut down. This is for our card base B piece. I have basic white thick cardstock for stamping. I have two pieces of basic white cardstock for the inside of the card. Another piece of DSP for our gift card holder. So to start off with, what will we do? Let's, um, we're gonna actually grab my paper trimmer I'm going to score this down at three and six inches. So there we have that. And I don't think that that is cut at the correct measurement. No, it's not. That was a full piece of A4. There we go. Yeah, four by nine inches. Three and six we're going to score it at. <laughs> I didn't get my kit ready as I should have. So we're just folding these back to be that concertina fold. I'm gonna score and burnish those. So the catalog has been live for a little while now. It, it um, I think, what, a week? A little bit over a week. How many watching have placed an order yet? That's always fun to work out. So I don't need this. I'm going to pop this to the side. I'm going to pop these two pieces to the side because they were just adhering those down with adhesive. Let's bring in our stamping pieces. So we have two for the inside, our long stamping piece, and then our piece of petal pink cardstock. I'm going to grab just a scrap piece of paper so I can stamp over the top. Well, that's funny, someone's come into the shop. Wally's well, been shut. Oh well. Marion says she's going to place her second order tomorrow. <laughs> Deborah's placed her order today. Awesome. Okay, Deborah, what was on your list? What did you get today? And Marion, what is on your list to get tomorrow? All right, so we're going to do our first layer here. And I have my stamps already added to my blocks. For our front layer here, I'm gonna use Petal Pink ink. And we're gonna stamp that honeycomb on the top left-hand side. Sorry, top right-hand side. What am I thinking of? So I'm just creating a little bit of a background there. That should be fine. 
And then I'm going to grab my sweet sorbet and stamp our sentiment, which is the Happy Valentine's Day. Up here. And in that stamp set, there's a couple of hearts. So there's a little heart, there's a bigger heart, and then there's also a... Oh, no, that's another set. <laughs> I've been working with a few different sets. We're going to stamp these, but I'm just going to stamp the small one in here. I am feeling super, super rusty um, videoing, so I apologise. I'm going to fumble my way through a little bit. That is all we need on this one. So let's open the second one up. And I'm just going to use that small heart and stamp him all the way across. I'm going to try and keep him, keep them centered so they're stamped in one line. Sometimes it's a little harder to do than, than you can expect. There we go. So that one's good. Now the petal pink, we're going to stamp the wings. So I can pop that down. I can move that one to the side. And then that long strip, what we're going to do with that long strip is we need to stamp the B. We're also going to stamp a few of these little extra hearts. So I've got two smaller hearts and two of the larger, sorry, three smaller hearts, two larger hearts, and then the B and his an antenna. So let's do that first. I'm going to do the B first just because that is the most important part. And I'll have room if I make a mistake and want to do it a different way. So when you're stamping and um, you're going to be punching out the image, one thing that I highly recommend is having a look, turning your punch over and having a look at the orientation of your punch. That's going to tell you how you want to stamp your image. So obviously we're going to stamp so the little stinger B is on the right hand side. So that's really, really important. So I'm going to lay the body down. Let me move that up a little bit so you can see it's a little little low there we go and then with this stamp set there is a little bee body hi glenda how are you judith says hers is waiting to be picked up from the post office tomorrow's job you couldn't get there today judith I don't know how you can wait. <laughs> so we're just going to try and line up that. It's really hard because I'm not actually over my stamped image. So we'll try and do as best as we can. Deborah got two new kits and the ice cream swirl bundle. Oh, the ice cream swirl bundle is really pretty. Okay, so we have that. I am going to grab, while we have the memento out, I want to stamp my little antenna. So pop him down. And his little face. So there is actually a few different faces that you can stamp with this stamp and the B. So there's four in all. I'm going with the, this one here, cute one. go so that's it for the memento I'm gonna bring actually we can close up some of these other ones as well so I don't make a mess I'm gonna use a sweet sorbet and stamp our hearts so we have that larger heart and the small heart Ooh, this ink pads stuck there we go okay let's bring that large heart in I'm going to stamp two of these. I 
and three of these. Okay, I think that's everything. Now we're going to see what we need to cut out to be able to punch. So that B was a little close to the antennas. I probably should have stamped it up on the side. The antenna we can punch out with that little heart. Okay. And we just need all our little hearts there. And this gives a nice little border around it. This is a really great way of using up your scraps. So if you have scraps in your scrap bin that are strips, strips work the best when you're using uh, punches and punching from stamps. Because you can get in and you're not wasting as much. When it's a big bit, you end up wasting a ton of cardstock. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my tummy rumbling. I only had tuna and crackers for lunch. I don't know whether it was enough. Okay. Have all our little pieces. So this card's gonna go come together really quick now. I'm going to use some liquid glue and attach the DSP down. Now, typically, I don't do many Valentine's Day projects. What about you guys? Do you like seeing Valentine's projects? To me, this could be used any time though. Um, like, just love, loved themes. These would make really great wedding cards as well because they're super cute. Now, you could use liquid glue. I'm going to use tear and tape just because it's a little bit easier and make sure that it's stuck down well. A few of the ladies have said hello, Adam. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> He's had a hard day at work today. It was a little bit hotter today, 31. And he's laboring with his brother. His brother's a builder. And he's had a few weeks off from doing anything. Oh, I've done this the wrong way. Damn. Oh, well. We'll do it a different way. So. I've actually popped it down the wrong way. It'll be fine. Follow this one, not this one. I am super rusty, everyone, sorry. <laughs> it will still work. I'll still be able to pop the gift card holder in this side, so it's not a problem. So for the gift card holder, which is just here, we're just gonna add some tear and tape down to the sides. on three of the sides, so the bottom and the two sides. And that will give us plenty of room to pop the gift card down the side or down inside. You know, if I hadn't have used, if I'd used my liquid glue instead of the tear and tape, I could have popped that off. But tear and tape has really good strong hold, so I wouldn't even try. 
So this layout's just a little bit different. Follow the instructions on the PDF if you grab the PDF and you won't make a mistake. <laughs> so you're just gonna line that up, pop that in. And what you might have to do is just wiggle it to get it in, but it fits really well. So there we go. Okay. Now pop this one at the front. Like so. Oop. And we're going to pop our B together. I do need to die cut his wings. Now the wings will cut out with that larger heart. So it's actually a really good punch bundle because they've worked out that most of the images will cut out with the punch. So you've got the antenna with the small heart and then you can punch out the small heart. You've got the wings and the large heart with the larger heart. And then this will punch out the B, but it's also a speech bubble. So it's got some good, good uses there. So I'm going to use some mini glue dots to pop this together. It just makes it easier to come together. So I'm going to pop them down. Where's the antennas? that down as well. I only just realized that the antennas punch out with the punch. With my projects for the Creative Vault, I actually hand cut them. Very silly of me. <laughs> And I'm going to add one of these little hearts to the bumblebee or the bee as well. Like so. Okay. We're just going to lay some of this gorgeous ribbon behind. So I'm just creating a little faux bow. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it is a cute little card. Great little gift card holder too. And to adhere that ribbon down, I'm just going to add a strip of my tear and tape. To me, I find that's the easiest way to hold down the, the ribbon. Take that off. I'm going to pop up some dimensionals and I'm just going to let this little dog out that's gone out to the shop. I don't know why, but she has. Come on. I think she was looking for my husband that's gone to take Riley for a run. So we're just going to pop up our little bee with some dimensionals. him on the top I'm also going to add add some of these little hearts down I wanted some to be stamped some to be popped up some to be stamped and die cut and just glued down sort of like a, a variation of all of them in there and that just creates a nice little texture the large heart i'm going to pop up with some more dimensionals riley bashed her way into c pop yeah She's been at home all day with me in the office. So 
So she loves to go over and see my dad. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna have to put something in there now, just because it looks silly otherwise. I'll just put some more areas that I can, more basic white that I can write on maybe. So it, it works out because then you've just got lots more writing that can be done. But that works too, doesn't it? Okay, I do have to grab another heart. So I don't have a, I've only got a small heart left. So I do need to stamp another large heart, which is easy. We're just gonna grab the Sweet Sorbet ink. Pop that down. Pippi the little dog keeps coming down and going back up. She has no idea where my hubby's gone. Might need to add a post-it note to this one, I think. It's been sitting on my desk a little bit too long, I think. <laughs> Can you tell these post-it notes are cheap and nasty ones? There's not much sticking to them. There we have it. So we've got a large heart. We're going to add a little bit of another little bow behind it. So just a really small one using really small amount of ribbon. It's not a real lot of ribbon there. But it looks so cute. Look at that. Need a little bit more tear and tape. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I love it when you guys like the, the projects I do. Okay, now I'm gonna take that backing off. And let's bring our dimensionals in. Pop two down. And we're just going to add that to the center there. I love that little little bow there. Looks so pretty. Okay, to finish it off, I'm going to grab my embellishments. And these come in the Sweet Sorbet, Petal Pink, Daffodil Delight and Pool Party. So the coordinating colors in the suite. And I'm going to grab a little little petal pink heart and stick that just there so these are really really pretty they're really quite flat which are great uh, for cards if you're sending in the mail these would work really well if you're scrapbooking as well because there is really no bulk there's no hard edges um, and you know you can't go wrong with little flowers and, and hearts with scrapbooking. So, let's have a look at that card again. Let me know which one you like better. My original. <laughs> so the gift card goes inside there. Or we have the new version. <laughs> I think this one will work really well though. I'll have extra space. I'll just grab some basic white cardstock and stick in there. So cute. So this is just one of the cards in this month's tutorial bundle for the Simple Sweet Stampers. 
group, this one here. Be Mine is the collection, the suite, that um, is in the mini catalogue, page 8, 9, and 10, if you're looking for this bundle. Highly recommend it. It's super cute. Really great for, well, it's, it's a Valentine's Day theme uh, suite, but, you know, you could do kids' cards, birthday cards, so many different occasions rather than just Valentine's Day. I'm not huge with Valentine's Day, so um, I've done a few cards and projects with it, but um, this will be one that's just great for so many different occasions. All right. Now, if you're in need of any of the supplies that I've used on today's cards, you can purchase them in my online store, and I love it if you did. Um, I have some wonderful specials and gifts that I give out to my customers. So the first one was the customer appreciation card, and you'll receive this bundle tutorial. And if you spend $65 in product, you'll receive the monthly tutorial bundle. And celebration is on right now. So if you spend $90, you can choose a free item from the Celebration catalogue, absolutely free from Stamping Up. So this month and next month are the time to place your orders and you get the free product. Um, oh, thank you, everyone. Oh, right. Yes, Marion, you could use a second section for a secret message panel. Absolutely. That would work really well. All right, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd love if you left me a comment if you're watching the replay. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please do that. Um, I'll be back next Thursday live um, with the January tutorial bundle. But I do have a video coming out on Sunday for Tracy's Sunday Challenge. So if you would like to join in Tracy's Sunday Challenge, come back, have a look at the video on Sunday and join in the challenge. Lots and lots of fun. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Enjoy your wonderful Friday and your weekend and stay safe. And I'll see you all really soon. Bye-bye.